Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Capricorn, you are up, so this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, or if you're a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Capricorn in their chart, this is for you too, or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Capricorn in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has Capricorn in their chart, maybe there are some messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment, as well as share. If it does not resonate, please try your moon sign and your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign on your birth chart. And in order to get your ascendant sign, you have to have, which is your rising sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your, um, your sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury. Um, just want to say thank you to everybody that has been supporting me from the beginning as well as welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, my readings are only $25 each and that's for a 20 to 30 minute reading. I'm a lot cheaper than a lot of other readers. Um, I also do emergency readings that are done within 24 to 48 hours from the time that I receive your payment and those are $50. You can email me at goddessqueenjustme23 at gmail.com or if you didn't get my email address, it would always be listed in the description box of my video as well as the about me of my channel. Um, if you're interested in using or purchasing any of these decks that I use in my videos, they're also listed in the description box of the video as well as the link for the cafe astrology for your birth chart if you want to look at your birth chart is listed there too. Um, the cards have already been shuffled. The main deck, I will cut them on camera moving forward since I have a lot of new energy that's coming in. All the other cards are already shuffled. We will cut them on camera as well. Um, it's Happy New Year to you, Capricorns. Uh, hopefully during Capricorn season, I know a lot of people were draining your energy at the end of the year. So I know it was tough for a lot of you Capricorns. So it is Aquarius season right now, so this is going to allow yourself to renew yourself, find that balance, find that peace, you know, go through your own self-discovery if you didn't take 2018 to heal yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. Aquarius season is the best time for you to do that. Um, we just had the full moon in Leo, and then we had the, you know, the eclipse, as well as the super bloom, the super red, the super blood moon, and then the wolf moon, all the different a lot of different energy that's coming up, a lot of transformations taking place as far as your DNA activations and things and going on like that. So again, also with your season being Capricorn, a lot of other, you know, Zodiacs took that time to drain your energy, use your energy in, in order to help them ground their self, you know, their root chakra and their heart chakra. So hopefully y'all are able to reline all that back up here in Aquarius season, allow yourself to go through your renewal phase, to, you know, so you can find your sense of purpose. So again, let's go ahead and get started. Of course, I got my music in the background as well. Um, so again, this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle it three more times, and then what's at the bottom of this shuffle is what I'm going to take as some of your energy for this reading. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. Beautiful, Capricorns. So 
I see that some of y'all are still thinking about love. Y'all still thinking about your emotional, you know, happiness as far as your emotional fulfillment. Um, again, a lot of y'all readings were positive for the end of um, of the year. Um, so still seeing that Ten of Cups again is about, you know, that inner peace within yourself. So a lot of y'all are fine and balanced. You're trying to heal yourself mentally as well as physically as well as emotionally in order to get your your emotions to a, a place where you're happy is what i'm getting from this too um ten of cups is also about reunions um is what i'm getting from this too so some of y'all could be dealing with a situation as far as let's say so there's going to be a different situation um the way that i see that this going on with this capricorns I feel that this reading is going to be more about you than it is going to be about the person that you're dealing with. So um, this could also be a situation as far as y'all not seeing victory in a relationship as far as, let's say, if this is, um, we have the Six of Wands. Well, let me let me start here. We have the Moon card. So the Moon card is reversed, okay? So some of you Capricorns are dealing with a situation as far as, you know, lies, deception. I feel that some of y'all are dealing with a situation as far as you finding somebody was lying. Um, this is also letting me know that some of you Capricorns, like I was saying, I feel that there's two different situations. Some of y'all are dealing with a relationship that you're wanting to remove yourself from because this person is not giving you the emotional balance the way that you need to. I feel there's some lies or there was some deception that has been taking place either with you Capricorn or this could be um, the, a Pisces is what I'm getting from this too because the moon card is a Pisces even if they don't have Pisces in their chart I see feel that somebody's dealing with some type of deception um, there I feel that there's some backstabbing that's going on um, now as far as you Capricorn as far as what I was saying I feel that some of y'all are still dealing with hiding back your emotions um, when the moon card comes out, this is then also about not dealing with your, your emotions. I feel that some of y'all are fearing certain situations as far as having a victory in a certain relationship. So I don't know if some of you Capricorns are still reminiscing about past energy because I feel that we have the nine of swords here and it's in the past position. And when the nine of swords is reversed, this is about sunning out uh, the, the you, this is about basically the sunshine after the storm this is about you returning back to hope so again i feel that some of you capricorns are still trying to deal with deception that possibly could have been from your past you could have also been deceiving yourself as far as not expressing your your emotions holding back from you know just expressing yourself about a certain situation or just basically lacking confidence in the drive within yourself is what i'm hearing but some of y'all are dealing with a certain situation as far as deception somebody is lying when the six of wands comes out this is also about arguments again this is about backstabbing this is about a loss so some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that also has too much pride um this person could have caused you you know certain pain as far as heartache um because when we have the nine of swords coming out this is letting me know that some of you capricorns or cross watchers were in a situation as far as having sleepless nights having you know doubt as far as you know questioning everything you know you suffering you also going through the loss as far as a relationship so again let's say if somebody was not seeing victory as far as a situation when it comes to just you know having that happy home having that happy life i feel that some of y'all are been dealing with you know secrets there could have been some of you capricorns that are also dealing with a certain situation as far as not finding balance within yourself so i feel that some of y'all are still trying to reach that spiritual fulfillment um we have the temperance card which is reversed so again this is lack of balance within yourself lack of not having the harmony not having the peace when we have the temperance card being reversed this is about attachments this is also about you know conflict of interest so there could be a competition as far as let's say if this is you capricorn or if you were dealing with somebody that's from your past and you're still trying to overcome some type of deception i I feel that somebody was um, getting, you know, a lot of attention. Somebody possibly was somebody you were dealing with somebody that probably liked attention from different women, different men. Um, this person was not bringing balance. It caused you to question, you know, your motives, their motives as far as the relationship, making you understand why this person was not just, you know, settling down, not giving you that 10 of cups the way that you wanted them to give you um, is what I'm getting. I feel that some of you Capricorns are also dealing with a situation as far as a secretive relationship is what I'm hearing from this. So there could be some of y'all that ha are in a situation as far as a secret relationship um, is what I'm getting. Um the temperance card also comes out this is about competition again lack of teamwork um this is also letting me know again some of your capricorns are out of sync with yourself so they're saying that you need to ground yourself um what it seems like you have your 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 heart chakra your root chakra 
um, all needs to get back in line. Again, how I was telling you the end of uh, the year of 2018, a lot of y'all were drained emotionally and it caused you to lose, you know, that lack of confidence with yourself as, as far as you gaining your balance. And they're saying for you to gain, you know, your, your inner strength back in order for it to cause you to be a little bit more motivated. Cause I'm feeling that some of y'all are losing your drive. It's cause some of y'all are overly sensitive right now. And they're saying that you need to put your emotions back together so you can become back grounded. Okay. So start with your foundation first, as far as your root chakra, we do have the Empress card coming out and this is again Aries Taurus this is um uh about uh if you could possibly be dealing with an Aries or Taurus we have a uh, Sagittarius here and then we have the Pisces cards here okay so when the Empress card coming out with it being reversed this again like I was saying letting me know that y'all are not grounded you're not balanced you need to get back in tune with yourself mentally physically as well as emotionally a lot of y'all y'all and you're you're very intuitive people but at the same time I feel that your intuition is off when it comes to certain situations um, when the Empress card is reversed, this is also letting me know that some of y'all are dealing with somebody that's possibly, you know, more materialistic. Um, you possibly were seeing victory with this person, but this person was more about their self. They were in more about their 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 um, selfish ways is what I'm hearing from this too. When the Empress card is also reversed, this is letting me know again that y'all are burned out. The Temperance card is letting me know again some of y'all have been over compromising in certain situations as far as possibly you could have been investing more into a relationship some of y'all are realizing again this is, could be possibly the mother of your child or this this could also be some some of y'all are still dealing with situations as far as your mother and your mother could have been you know causing you to giving you causing you to lose certain balance within yourself so i feel that some of y'all are dealing with a situation as far as a mother controlling a situation as well yeah competition yeah so somebody puts you in a competition this could be you capricorn women um with you being the queen of pentacles being reversed again you not being in, in sync with yourself as far as your nurturing self that caring self that one that's basically you know uh have the confidence within their self when it's reversed this is letting me know again like i said you're dealing with your insecurities somebody could have put you in competition or Capricorn you could have put somebody in competition especially if this is somebody that's coming back that was from your past this person possibly was on the other side questioning everything trying to realize you know why you know I'm not good enough for this person or am I you know not pretty enough from this person because somebody was putting somebody in some type of competition when the five of wands comes out this is about arguments this is also about power str struggles within yourself this is also about other people's opinions so I'm feeling that some of y'all were dealing with a mother or if it's not a mother this could have been a woman that was more immature more mature and they were giving you wrong advice some of you possibly are also dealing with like i was saying an aries um are a uh, this person could also have earth in their chart too um if this is somebody that's coming back from your past it could be a taurus or um a capricorn or um a virgo or like i said an aries or a um because the temperance card is Taurus and Aries, okay? We have Sagittarius and then we have the Queen of Earth, okay? So I feel that somebody that's coming back from your past has either that in their chart, this person, like I was saying, either put you in some type of competition, you put them in some type of competition, somebody was giving, you know, in another uh, relationship because we, the Three of Pentacles is also about third party situations as well. But if this person is coming back from your past, they know that they didn't invest in the relationship. They know that they were not balancing the relationship. They know that they were causing you to stay Stay up late that night. You know, you were not seeing victory in the relationship. They caused you to have insecurities within yourself because they were causing you to, you know, have competition with other people. I feel that this person now is wanting to come back. They're wanting to come back now and work as a team. This person is wanting to give into the relationship. And so... Um, because they were not doing that in the past when the three of Pentacles comes out. This is about teamwork. This is about, you know, working as a team. This is about also the success as far as a business gain. So I feel that some of you uh, Capricorns have been going through a situation as far as trying to, you know, reground yourself as far as your finances. I feel that y'all are, you know, shifting your energy. You're now putting yourself in a, a better position as far as your finances, you know, getting better is what I'm hearing from this too. Um, but this is also about somebody being dedicated. So this could be you being more dedicated as far as your work as far as your career um but i do feel that somebody is wanting to be dedicated in a relationship and they were not doing that in the past okay so some of y'all are dealing with somebody that's coming back from your past and this person possibly cut you in competition this person was possibly more about themselves because we do have the queen of 
Pentacles are in the Empress card being reversed. And that's also about selfishness. Or they could have been more about more material things, more of a certain way of life, the way of living. And this could be you, Capricorn. Some of y'all possibly could be trying to release yourself away from a certain life, a certain way of living. Um, we have the Three of Cups. So again, this is about the cheating. This is about, let's say, um, there could also be an unexpected pregnancy is what I'm going to say because the Empress card is also um, about fertility. This is about, you know, birth. Um, and in the Three of Cups, when it's reversed, it's about unexpected pregnancies. This is also about letting me know that some of you Capricorns could be overindulging in certain alcohol or certain things that are not good, good for you. There could be a pregnancy that does take place in that. So Capricorns, again, don't overindulge in certain things that you know that's not good for you or cross watchers as it lead to a pregnancy that, you know, you were not wanting to have. I feel that somebody also, when the Three of Cups is reversed, this is also about... Um, like I was saying, cheating, somebody is getting exposed for them cheating, you know, two timing, three timing them is what I'm hearing from this. The eight of swords, again, this is going to cause you to have um, somebody going to be getting bad news that they're, you know, somebody possibly put them in a third party situation. And this other person also possibly end up getting cheat, end up getting pregnant behind them. Cheating is what I'm getting. Putting you in a love triangle is what I'm getting. This is going to cause pain. This is going to cause, you know, you to feel stuck in a certain situation, especially you, um, Capricorns is what I'm hearing from this too. Um, somebody is basically also when the Eight of Swords comes out, this is about uh, feeling stuck. So some of y'all could be feeling stuck in a certain situation, especially let's say if you end up getting somebody pregnant that you were not wanting to get pregnant um, because you were out, you know, celebrating or having fun or drinking too much. Um, I'm seeing that somebody's going to be feeling stuck in a situation because they were not trying to do that. Um, somebody is also feeling blocked. Um, in a certain situation, we have the the death card, which is Scorpio, which is reversed. So again, this is about somebody basically burning bridges. This is about somebody running away. Um, this is also about somebody going through their depression. So again, if you go through, you find out that somebody put you in a third party situation or if there was even a baby involved, I feel that this is going to cause a major conflict in your life. It's going to cause you to lose balance within yourself. So you're going to have to, you know, stay strong. You're going to have to stay positive. Know that even though, let's say if somebody, you find yourself in a situation where you're in a competition with another person, um, don't, don't beat yourself down is what they're, I'm hearing from this. Yeah, we have the 10 of swords. This is going to cause, somebody's going to have some experience, some type of heartache, some type of pain. Um, when we have the 10 of cups coming, uh, the 10 of swords coming out, this is about, you know, you feeling ruined. This is about you basically feeling the pain, you feeling defeated. Um, I feel there's a lot of envy. I feel that somebody is basically also going to be putting death towards a relationship. Um, let's say if this person was more of a karmic relationship because the 10 of swords is also about the karmic relationship. We have the death card. So I feel that somebody is going to be releasing their self from a certain situation. This could be also being releasing their self from a mother or somebody that was giving them bad and vice is what i'm hearing or this could be let's say capricorns um you were waiting on somebody somebody could be releasing their self from a relationship and this person could have been somebody they invested in more than three years in or they had children with this person is what i'm hearing but there is going to be an unexpected pregnancy that i do see that's taking part um somebody is going to be going through some type of betrayal um they were living in some type of illusions which caused this person to stay stuck um, when the death card also comes out, this is about, you know, um, refusing to change, refusing to let go. Um, grief is what I'm hearing. So retreat. So separation. It's time to disconnect from the world. So some of y'all are going to be separating. This could be a marriage. Um, somebody could be in a marriage situation and somebody stepped out and getting somebody else pregnant. And they could have been, like I said, overindulging in alcohol or some type of drugs or, you know, having way too much fun and they end up getting somebody, you know, knocked up from a situation. This is going to cause a breakup in the relationship. It says it's time to disconnect from the, wor the world. Um, so again, let's say if this is somebody that's coming back from the past, you and this person possibly have already had the separation. There could have been already the third party situation could have been something that was dealt with in the past. This person is realizing that they put you in some type of competition. Now this person is wanting to come back 
back as, as a team. They possibly right now were feeling, like I said, that you were not going to forgive them. You were not going to allow this person back in. New love. So again, this person is having a death of the ego. This person is coming back as somebody that's brand new. So this could be you, Capricorn, or the Cross Watchers. It says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So again, if you are experiencing a divorce or if you're experiencing somebody putting you in competition, I feel that there's going to be somebody that's brand new that's going to be coming in um, to basically sweeping you off the, your feet is what I'm hearing. Um, this next new person is going to be somebody that you can work that's going to work as a team with you is what I'm hearing from this too. Separation. So again, separation. Some of y'all could be separating yourself from a uh, uh, from a relationship. Um, I'm seeing, like I said, I feel that these the 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 Queen of Wands, Queen of Queen of Pentacles, is you Capricorn, especially you Capricorn women, especially if you in divorce because the Empress card is the 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 wife card. So again, I feel that some of y'all are finding out that your husband stepped out on you because this person was out having fun too much. Um, I feel that this person is going to cause you to go through some type of conflict within yourself as far as you separating from this relationship. Um, I, you know, and, and basically they're getting caught, um, especially if they end up getting somebody get else pregnant, then that's pretty much them getting caught for what they were doing. Um, it says separation time apart from the partner is on horizon. Um, this is also like I was saying, if this is from somebody that's coming back from the past and this person knew that they were not balancing the relationship, they knew that they were not, you know, um, investing in the relationship the way that they needed to i feel the separation that you and this person had caused this person to go through some type of a de major transformation as far as a death to an ego caused them to realize you know that they were losing somebody that they really cared about um we have weight so again this is some of y'all some of y'all have been waiting for this person to return if this is capricorn you are if you're going back if this is a cross watcher going back to a capricorn you've been waiting for this person to have go through their transformation weight is also that i feel that some of y'all are going to be also having having to have to make a decision let's say if capricorns somebody is saying that you got them pregnant or cross watchers um you uh, there's a let's say if there's a baby that's involved i feel that some of y'all are going to be doing like paternity tests to see if this child is yours so it's going to be a process of you waiting to see if this person if this child is really you know the Capricorns are cross watchers, whoever. And if it comes out that this child is really theirs, I feel that's when the separation is going to be taking place. This person is going to be releasing their self from it once the paternity test comes out. If the paternity test comes back out and it says that this child is not theirs or whatever, I feel that some of y'all are going to possibly try to work on your relationship. But I feel that this is going to be something that's going to be so like it's going to cause a lot it's going to it's going to requ require for you to go back and having to trust this person so you're going to have to basically respark your relationship back up um where it's like you're starting back over okay and you're trying to basically rebuild everything that was damaged and so there could be either some of y'all that's going to be doing that and then some of y'all are going to be separating yourself completely we have improving your health so again a lot of y'all have are not grounded with yourself mentally physically as well as emotionally a lot of y'all need to do the things that you need to do as far as working out exercising eating the right fruits and vegetables eating less meat meditating do the things that you need to do as far as your own uh health you know your own spiritual you know your own self-love putting in action and putting more action into you so they're saying improving your health no so again separation some of y'all are going to be removing yourself from a certain person once you find out this person was putting in in another relationship they were you know investing in something else there could be a, like i was saying a, a pregnancy that's going to be involved a lot of y'all are not going to be taking this person back a lot of y'all are not going to be um you know keeping this marriage i feel that y'all are going to be breaking yourself away um the fox spirit so again this is about wolves and chief clothing this is also about somebody being exposed for some type of deception it says think on your feet this is also about you basically gaining the clarity you basically realizing you know anything that was as far as confusion um you thinking on your feet you basically being shift with your actions and you being determined um it says also we have a seven a 27 here so this is a nine so again this is about moving on so i feel a lot of y'all are going to be separating yourself from somebody that basically caused deception in your life is what i'm hearing from this bat spirit so it's a rebirth is a a rebirth is assured. So again, transformation. This is coming on top of the um, 
the Scorpio card. So again, death to an ego. So I feel that somebody is going through a major rebirth. This is possibly some conflicts that caused as far as past situation. Let's say if they did put you in a third party situation, I feel these conflicts that were involved in your life, Capricorn or cross watchers caused you to bring about change. So I feel that again, fives about conflicts, but it brings change. So again, you basically are a rebirth, a renewal about yourself. Again, uh, Aquarius season is the best part for transformations. We have grasshopper spirit. So it says take a leap of faith. So again, if this is somebody that's coming back from your past, I feel that this person is going to be taking a leap on faith. I feel that they're a little bit fearful because they don't know how this person, especially if they put you in some type of competition with somebody else or if they got somebody else pregnant on the side and y'all have been in separation, I feel that this person is going to make a leap of faith. They're going to basically try to see if they can win you back. Um, this is also a 30. So this is a three. So this is about connection with your, yourself as far as being connection with the universe is what I'm hearing from this too. We have simple love. So a six, this is about the past. This is about harmony. So again, if this is somebody that's coming back from your past, this person possibly did deceive you. They possibly were somebody that caused you to have some type of insecurity about yourself as far as putting you in a, a competition with somebody else. I feel that this person now is seeing you as somebody that they really love. Um, they see that they have a connection with you. Again, they had to go through their own transformation and their own rebirth in order for them to come back as somebody new. So I feel that this person is coming back as somebody new. It says embrace. So we have a 21 here. Again, 21 is about spiritual healing. So that means that that person healed mentally, physically, and, and emotionally in order for them to come back. Even though their past, whatever past hurt, this person is going to be coming back. They're going to be asking for forgiveness. Um, it says embrace this, allow you know the change to happen. Some of y'all possibly were not allowing yourself to change. You were not allowing yourself to go through transformations. You were not allowing yourself to go through rebirths. Again, this is a 21, which is also a three connection. So a lot of y'all could be seeing three, three through threes because we do have sixes here, which sixes does break down to threes as well. So again, if um, past um is what i'm getting from this okay so we have a uh, clarity of belief so again some of y'all are realizing that the person that you were dealing with if you were this was a marriage or even this is this was your your mother or a, a, a mature woman that was giving you wrong advice i feel that some of y'all are some is getting somebody's getting um their true nature revealed to them. I feel that this is also about you possibly in the past. Let's say if you were not healing yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally, you possibly had your third eye and your crown chakra blocked. Um, you were not able to get the hidden knowledge. You were not seeing the synchronicities. You were not allowing yourself to open up to connect with the universe because again, threes are about connection. It's about you your soul, your spirit, connecting with the universe and everybody around you. So a lot of y'all could have had your own blinders on and you were not seeing the truth. But I do feel that somebody is gaining clarity. Again, if this person is coming back from your past, this person is gaining clarity. They are determined. They are motivated um, to basically get your forgiveness is what I'm getting from this. So it says clarity of belief. So some of y'all possibly could have also been battling your belief systems is what I'm getting from this too. But we have one here. And again, this is about new beginnings. Okay. So this person is coming back as a brand new person. Okay. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Again, the cards that we have out here again, we have the queen of Pentacles, which is Capricorn Taurus as well as Virgo. We have, um, the Scorpio card. We have the Sagittarius card and we have the uh, Empress, which is Taurus as well as Aries. Okay. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you and you have a great day.